All right, this is just my pasta that I cooked al dente. Go ahead and spread that in our 13 by nine pan. Delicious. Now I'm gonna grab a stick of melted butter and just pour that right on top. Beautiful. All right, now we're gonna grab some sharp white cheddar. I'm using the Tillamook and we're gonna go over to our cheese grater. And we are gonna use a lot of cheese for this. All right, so we are making a mac and cheese. And of course you cannot do mac and cheese without a lot of cheese. But what this, what's gonna make this so much better than any traditional mac and cheese is this white cheddar, okay? If you have not had a white cheddar mac and cheese, you have not lived. It is the best mac and cheese in the world. It just tastes gourmet and so good. All right, our second block of cheese. Go ahead and grade that baby up. All right, it's two blocks of cheese all shredded up. Move this out of the way, get all that cheese out. Beautiful. Now we have this beautiful big pile of cheese and that's going right inside our pasta dish. Yum, yum. Okay, go ahead and get that all in there. Our white cheddar, this is gonna be delicious. Beautiful. Go ahead and mix that in. It might be a little out of control because there's so much cheese, but trust me, it's all worth it. We want it to be very blended in with that pasta. Mm. And I love shredding my own cheese because it just is so much creamier than buying the already shredded, so much less processed and just fresh and delicious. And Tillamook is the best brand for, you know, butter, for cheese and ice cream. Okay, that looks nice and well blended. Let's go ahead and clean up our workspace real quick. All right, now that we're all ready for the next step, I'm gonna grab some whole milk and we are gonna use about four cups of whole milk. And this is a four cup measuring cup. I'll show you guys in a second. So this is gonna be the perfect size. So four cups of whole milk, you can use whatever milk you like, but the whole has the best fat for our mac and cheese. And we're just pouring that right in there. Beautiful. Now to counteract all that liquid, we are gonna grab some flour. Excuse my old crusty bag. We're gonna do a half a cup of flour, just super quick. It doesn't need to be sifted or anything like that. Just one half cup. Beautiful. And we're just gonna sprinkle that right in there. Perfect. Now, for the fun part, what goes best with white cheddar? bacon and I just cooked this bacon up we are gonna go ahead and use our kitchen sears and cut them into our mac and cheese oh my goodness this smells so good I love bacon now if you're a vegetarian you can totally skip this bacon but this is not for vegans you guys it has so much cheese and has the milk so let's just make this for the meat lovers it's gonna be so delicious I'm using about six pieces of bacon, but you can use as little or as many as you want. You can even use the already, you know, bits of bacon if that's your style. Sometimes I like to use those. Sometimes I like to make my own bacon. It's totally up to you. Okay, we're almost done here. Just get all those bacons. Get them. We can just rip up these last few. Some of these pieces are a little bit bigger than the others and that's okay. All right, now we're going to go ahead and give this another mix. Get all that milk and that flour and that bacon combined in with that pasta and that cheese and that butter. Don't forget the butter, you guys. I know this isn't my standard kind of pasta dish. I usually use, you know, uncooked pasta and like some kind of soup, but this one is gonna be so much better than any other pasta dish I've ever shown you guys. And it's worth, you know, buying that flour, buying that milk, because it's gonna be super creamy, super delicious. It's worth shredding that cheese because it's just gonna come together so beautifully. Oh, like look at all those flavors and those colors. You cannot tell me that this isn't gonna be incredible. 
All right, we're almost well mixed. And then we're gonna give this a little bit of seasoning, nothing crazy because we don't wanna take away from that white cheddar flavor. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna start with some pepper. Just really cover up the whole dish with pepper. When you think there's enough, there probably isn't and just keep going. Beautiful. And I use unsalted butter, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of sea salt to mine. Totally optional. Like I always say, the salt is optional if you're worried about the sodium. Now, it wouldn't be my kind of macaroni without a little bit of garlic powder. And I know this is gonna make some people mad, but garlic powder just tastes amazing and it's gonna complement that white cheddar beautifully. All right, this is ready for the oven. Let's just give it one more mix to make sure all those seasonings are inside the dish covering everything. Oh my goodness, look how easy that was. Just a few fresh ingredients all in here with our pasta. And you know what? If you wanna complain about me using boxed pasta, you can make homemade pasta. Do whatever you like. But I love boxed pasta and I honestly don't have time to make homemade pasta. But if you have a great homemade pasta recipe, put it down in the comments, share it with my followers. I'm sure they'll check it out because they like homemade stuff as well as my easy, quick recipes. All right, this is looking beautiful, you guys. Go ahead and spread it out, get it nice and evenly distributed as it was before. And this is ready for the oven. So it's set to 350 and we're gonna check on it in about 25 minutes. All right, guys, so it's been closer to 35 minutes. I know it said 25, but it was actually 35. Look how gorgeous that is looking. But you know any good mac and cheese needs some breadcrumbs. I'm just using the plain. If I had panko breadcrumbs, I would use those. But I'm just going to do a nice little dust right on top. It's going to add like a nice little crispy layer on our mac and cheese. And I don't like to add this right away because I did mix this a little bit before adding these breadcrumbs, but that looks gorgeous. This is gonna be ready in about 15 more minutes and then it's gonna be delicious. Oh my goodness. This smells absolutely incredible, okay? This is probably the best mac and cheese I've made yet. Let's go ahead. Oh yeah, see all that liquid was mixed in. Oh, white cheddar mac and cheese with a crispy bread crumb top. I, my mouth is watering. I am too excited to try this. Mm. That is so good. You gotta try it. 